All right, so we'll take a very simple theme because the advantage is of a very simple theme is that you can do so much more with it. Um, if you have an actual melody, you can't really change and modify this. As a matter of fact, the whole definition of a theme is uh, that you can change it and it still has its characteristics. A melody, if you change that, it's no longer that melody. While if you change a theme, it still is that theme and evokes that very strongly. So, <clears throat> I'm going to take something very simple and we'll just make a little exploration with that theme. All the simple things that we can do. Again, that's simple. <clears throat> okay. So, first let's see if we modulate that theme into just simply other chords. I'm just starting with a C major chord. Let's see when we go to an F. was just putting it into other chords that are that are connected and that move the story along so to say from this theme um, let's see whether we can do something sequentially <laughs> inverse that theme. So you noticed already because it is a theme um, you can actually play it backwards forwards you can change the intervals and the character still remains the same. That's the beauty of a, of a very simple theme. Let's do it reverse. <laughs> very beautifully with with that simple theme let's do a sort of a little bit of a of a turning up the screw a la vivaldi where you have i don't know something like um that I had a chromatic line going up in the soprano. So, bum 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 bum, 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 I 
stop wherever I want and to end up. So it's time to use um, the pedals a little bit. You can't see them here, but you can hear them definitely on this organ. And let's explore a little bit what we can do sort of as a little canon of sorts between right hand and pedal. well too. Um, let's do a pulsating chromatic shift in the pedals, something like this, that we have explored already before in the soprano. Let's see what we can do with that, um, where the pedals get a chromatic line. Let's see. Let's explore a little bit if we were to do a fugue about this. So we need an entry in C major. It works very well, um, again, because it is a very, very simple theme, this, this whole thing can, can be worked out fairly easily. Let's still explore a few more funky, well not funky, but, but a few traditional, but, but a bit more elaborate sequences that one can do with it. You see, one of the, the simple uh, bass movements would be C, down a fourth, up a third, down a fourth, up a third, down a fourth. That would be already a little bit more complicated. Or um, just down in fifth. So let's see what we can get there. Let's involve 
of the pedals. That's a nice sequence one can build in and then if, if while you improvise you have no ideas you do the same sequence again but this time you reverse this theme. I mean. I'm ending up in adventurous keys, relatively speaking, because I'm going down the fifth, up a fourth, which lands us up onto the B flat. So we're in B flat major, which becomes five of E flat major, up a fourth, now we're in A flat major. And if we want to accept A flat major, then we'll go down back just simply to the E flat. And we've confirmed that. I went on. So C major, F, B flat, 5 of E flat, A flat, down to the D to get us back. But since we still have a strong pull of our C major, really the ear expects a C minor chord. Then back to C major. So we've already collected quite some material and um, I will reposition the camera so that you can see also my feet while I'm playing and I'm gonna try a little piece based on our exploration what we have done so far. Thank you very much for listening so far. Sorry that I have to cut in here. Um, just wanted to say um, this. my looks are horrible in the next clip. This is what's left of an organist after a month of quarantine. <laughs> I just wanted to mention that. So let's get on with the video. <laughs> 